In this video, I want to talk about um, a kicking drill or some training that you can do to improve your roundhouse kicks overall. So once a year at my um, school here, I have my students do a challenge, and it's a 30-day it's a kicking challenge where I have them throw 100 kicks a day for 30 days. There's so many benefits that we gain from that that I just personally continue that on. Now, I don't continue throwing 100 kicks every day. That would be overkill. But what I do is I do it a maximum of like three times a week. So I throw 100 kicks a day three times a week. What this type of accessory work is meant to do is to sharpen your skills outside of your primary training. So why should you uh, do this training or this drill or this 100 kicks a day three times a week? What are the benefits of this? This time could be spent like fixing issues with your technique. If you go slow, throw your kicks slow while you're doing this drill, uh, or some of these sets as you're getting up to your 100 kicks a day, if you throw them slower. And as you're doing this, focus on specific areas of your technique, sharpening that area or strengthening it. This can help improve your roundhouse kick overall. So do some sets slow and methodical, again, focusing on an area of your technique um, that you want to uh, clean up or tighten up. When you're doing these 100 kicks a day, you're doing these sets of kicks uh, to get to your 100 kicks, Make sure that you're throwing all levels of roundhouse kick. Leg kick, body kick, head kick. We're working our overall roundhouse kick. This isn't specific to around your roundhouse to the body or your head kicks. But if you do want to hone in on a specific kick, strengthening your low kick or getting stronger head kicks, then yes, you can definitely stay at one height um, from day to day depending on what you're working on. Now another thing you can do is you could do some, as you're doing these kicks, you could do some static holds, hold the kick out a bit longer um, to strengthen the muscles that you engage when you're kicking. Another way to do this is if you don't always have access to a heavy bag, uh, you don't have one at your house and the only time you have access to a heavy bag is when you're at your school or your gym. Uh, well, another way to get your kicks in is what we call shadow kicking. So it's kicking into the air, but you could, when you're kicking into the air, shadow kicking, you could hold these positions or you just go a little slower when you do this because you don't have an object in front of you that you are kicking at that will take the impact of the kick. So you have no momentum. So you are having to engage your muscles a little more when doing shadow kicking. So this can definitely improve and strengthen the muscles that you engage when you're throwing roundhouse kicks. Some sets you can work on your speed and power. Throw some sets with like heavy, hard roundhouses. Throw some with like a fast snap or whip at the end of your dragon's tail. Throw power kicks with a march in between with a little more rest. Or you could do speed kicking drills. Doing like two speed kicks or five speed kicks or ten. And that's a way to pick up your speed and improve your ability to throw like multiple kicks or just even one roundhouse effectively at those types of speeds. Staying balanced and strong. As you're working through your sets of kicks, another thing you could do is vary your speed and your power. You know, throw uh, some of them hard, throw some of them fast, throw some of them slower. Just keep changing the speed. This works on your kick in different areas. When you're sparring or fighting, there are times you, you're gonna change the speed of the kick while you're kicking to kind of get it to land or to react to whatever defense they're using or um, however the, both of your footwork is kind of ending up. Sometimes you want the kick faster to really get there before they're a uh, block comes into play or they blocked something previously and you're throwing it at a slower pace to kind of get underneath their arm at the right time. Being able to change the speed of your kick, it's a great ability to have. Now lastly, I sometimes do a version of heavy bag rounds as I move and throw my roundhouse kicks at different heights and speeds and intensity while using my footwork. It's just, a, just like I'm doing like a heavy bag round, but I'm using my kicks only. And as I'm like doing these rounds, as I'm doing this footwork and kicking and moving my distance in and out, I'm counting my kicks so I know when I hit 100 or whatever set I'm working on. Now, when I do this drill or this training, I'm not throwing 100 kicks straight. I'm doing sets of like 5 or 10 or 20 and I'm chipping away at that 100 total. It's what we call a chipper. You chip away at the total. So each set, I, I do the things that I mentioned before, but one key component is that I make sure that I get 50 kicks on each leg. You want to be even. 
If you wanted to, I guess if you really were working on one leg in particular, you could do 100 kicks on the rear leg because whatever you have an issue there. But I, it does create imbalances, so make sure you balance that out the next time you're doing this drill. I just find it easier personally to make sure that I always get an even number on each leg any day that I'm doing this. Through this type of drill, guys, you're going to gain a lot of control, instincts, balance, speed, and power with your roundhouse kicks. At a minimum, your roundhouse will get better just through repetition. I always go back to this Bruce Lee quote. It's one of my favorite quotes. The quote is, I fear not the man who throws 10,000 kicks one time. I fear the man who throws one kick 10,000 times. On the other side of that, some people use that as the, the gauge of mastery. That but you have to do something 10,000 times before you can master it. I don't personally believe in mastering anything. But 10,000 reps is a good... It's a good number. So all that boils down to, again, is repetition. Just do things over and over. Again, I want to pre- I want to leave you with this one crucial element, guys. Make sure that you have clean technique or that you've kind of dialed in your technique. Or if you haven't, that you're using this drill as an opportunity to clean up or tighten up your technique. Because if you're just hauling off and throwing 100 kicks a day of sloppy technique, you're gonna ingrain that sloppy technique into the way that you instinctively throw your roundhouse kick. So be very careful. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoy the content that we've been making for you. And if you do, please be sure to show some love and like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.